the mayor of Bilbao, in the commitment with citizens of the city, so we defined a strategic plan for SSE with a bet on economic uh, area. We have a collaboration between the city, companies, the university. So we also have a team which was put in place. And this team have put in place what we call Acropol, a pole. And we develop plans and programs and a concrete action for Bilbao and for other territories and they significantly contribute to growth and the consideration of this type of economy. What we're looking for is to have diversity at the city council. We support this kind of economy. We also boost this economic pole of a solidarity economy. So for us, this is a social intervention instrument, and that is why we believe that this is an innovating bet that we should launch and develop this kind of economy for. We should do that by... This is an instrument to meet uh, development objectives. Recently in our city, we have inaugurated a UN office for SDG, there is a specific project. We can also say that in this echo poll, in this project, we boost SSE. We were in reference at the Basque countries we have about 30 entities or 30 businesses that are part of this program. And we bank on the collaboration of the administration and we also set up some spaces to bring together all those people working on social and solidarity economy. We have also businesses and uh, we have an innovation framework. We set up uh, think things and we develop actions which are part of this we also define intercooperation. So we need to work towards uh, SSE, we need, this is about working for people without leaving nobody behind, without further ado, without, we wish to thank each and everyone, we wish to thank the city of Dakar, and we wish to commend them for supporting women's empowerment. And to all these women, we say thank you for making this meeting, this GSEF meeting possible. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We see that we need to have a cooperation on territories to have platform where we can talk about SSE to have comprehensive and structural policy. Now let's proceed this round with this round table by giving the floor to Siam Bamba, who is chair of Bagui 
in Cote d'Ivoire. He's the vice president of regions and districts of uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really pleased to take a part in this uh, round table. And first of all, before take, taking you through my presentation, and uh, president of the Social, Economic, and Environmental Council, was not able to take part in this panel. On his behalf, I would like to commend the government of the Republic of Senegal and the general coordination of the GSAF Forum Dakar 2023 for their interest in our project. I would also like to greet all the personalities and experts that spontaneously accepted to take a part in the organization of the SSE forum and thank them also for sharing experience and inspiring solution in order to optimize conditions to achieve sustainable development goals at the local level. In Côte d'Ivoire, this is the country that have gone through a series of crises, socio-economic, political, the government, uh, local governments and civil society organization and development partners have uh, made a number of efforts to consolidate growth and structural transformation is still to be improved. Living conditions of uh, population should be improved, in particular at the rural area. Given the precariousness and uh, inequalities accentuated by uh, climate warming, the issue relating to accessing basic services such as education and health, Asian to youth training, to labor market migration situation, the sustainable management of natural resources, ETC. In the face of a number of development challenges, social and solidarity economy, uh, bringing together, uh, so SSE is the solution to rethink our territories and make these spaces, spaces of opportunities essential. We should not uh, uh, forget about uh, people that should actually uh, launch those policies. Utility services engage in SSE. So we have two main objectives in that improving youth employability and facilitate social professional integration of uh, people. We need to ensure access to basic products at a lower price. Therefore, however, in the face of scarcity of resources to finance their support, it is urgent for the government and structures to ensure sustainability of structures. So they have to be able to meet the needs of actors of territories and uh, top emerging opportunities. That is why we local government and president of regions, actors of proximity development, we are committed to promoting so solidarity economy at our territories in compliance with our missions. We need to create a permanent inclusive dialogue uh, framework in partnership with the main players of the national ecosystem in order to better structure 
our development uh, structure. Two, we need to promote leadership and promote successful models from territories through uh, approach in compliance with national policy for promotion of youth and professional inception. We need to generate interest among young people. We need also to cooperate and implement sustainable and inclusive program for the empowerment. As a case in point, we can give the case of the guarantee fund for the Agbed region with 6 million of guarantee fund. And this was able to finance 1,000, over 1,000 projects with 360 million. And this has impacted uh, over 800 young people and almost 1,000 women, which makes almost 2,000 young men or young people. Three contribute to the quality of forces of cohesion among the government and also launch reflection in, in order to undertake differently by building on values that uh, is the basis of our society. Yes. This. In 2019, the Assembly of District of Region of Kondiva in partnership with the project uh, NGO, they drew attention of the Fair Chair on the implementation of the process for the identification of main players. And then we organized consultation in order to create a national coalition. The same vein, organizations in partnership with the GSF and the International Association of Francophone Regions, with the institutional support of the Social, Economic and Environmental Council, we organized, we organized in June 2023, the International Forum of Young Leaders on Social and Solidarity Economy. This was an opportunity to provide a platform for exchange sharing in order to define the best mechanisms to promote SSE. Furthermore, in the Grand Basin uh, Forum, the FETIER has supported the development of uh, as part of a call for proposal of uh, Waka Agency. In addition, we are actually launching an advocacy among authorities for, on the institutionalization of SSE, like uh, countries like Senegal, Cameroon, Morocco, ETC. And the commitment of the Minister of uh, Microfinance and Poverty Election is quite uh, interesting. And uh, lastly, we need to optimize the intervention framework of local actors on social and solidarity economy, the will of territorial collectivity to set up a network and this was reaffirmed during the workshop on social economy held in December 2022 in Yaoundé with uh, uh, the presence of countries from the sub-region in Morocco. So we are working towards promoting social and solidarity economy to contribute to actually uh, sensitize the young people and women on the challenges facing 
our territories and their potential to engage a positive transformation of the society through the promotion of our wealth. We need to bring young people to create with the rest of the world a cooperation nexus at the cultural, economic and social levels while being on a momentum of, of cooperative entrepreneurship. We need to develop innovating funding mechanism for SSE and promote inspiring solution. In addition, despite some efforts made at the institutional level for the recognition at the local and national level, we actually worked to get the government commitment, uh, territorial collectivities in the initiative of local actors to influence policies and agenda for SSE in order to positively impact our communities, in particular in rural areas where populations are the most vulnerable. Ladies and gentlemen, given sustainable transformation issues in our territories, to the benefit of our fellow citizens, in particular young people and women, we would like to take this opportunity to invite you to action in order to give a meaning to the first UN resolution in the favor of social and solidarity economy in our territories. We need your decisive support to all initiatives necessary for effective management of issues pertaining to the promotion of social and solidarity economy in our respective countries. Ladies and gentlemen, to close on this, I would like to reiterate my gratitude to organizers for actually inviting us to these exchanges, which we are very pleased to take part in. Thank you for your kind attention. Uh, thank you, President, Mr. Chair, for this very rich intervention. Before concluding this uh, uh, roundtable, I would like to invite Morocco uh, with uh, Madame, who is uh, an African women leader, the first deputy president of Refela. She will share a vision of a social and solidarity economy. Madame, over to you. Honorable audience, I cannot start my uh, intervention without congratulating Senegal from the north to the south, from east to west, for being the first African soil to welcome the GSEF. And I would also like to thank the Senegalese government, the Senegalese people, the mayor of Dakar, and the uh, president of uh, the Refema for the warm welcome we were given and the generosity of their hospitality known in Senegal throughout the world. I cannot. Uh, Thank Mr. the President of the Forum, Mayor of Bordeaux. Thank you for having represented us as mayors. So you see that the mayors are on the front line because your governments have started reflecting on and putting in place general strategies and public policies, if they do not have a territory well designed, well managed, in order to implement those policies, 
implementation that cannot be efficient or relevant if it does not meet the needs of the population, of the youth, of the women, and the, of the less young. So as mayors and uh, women mayors, we are doubly mayors. We are mayor at home, we are mayor at, with the family, and mayor at the town council. <laughs> In those territories managed by elected people that the population has chosen on a specific program, it is an obligation on us to be faithful to our uh, population and to our territories, to prepare them to receive anything they require to guarantee and participate and establish co social cohesion. <laughs> Without this social cohesion, we cannot live in peace. And social peace requires that everybody, and mostly that every woman, because we are half of this community and we pay attention to the education of the other half, so we are the society. So to guarantee a decent income, enabling us to live with dignity and to take our responsibilities, and this is an opportunity to uh, of this forum in Africa to valorize our territory values, which are the major source for income-generating activities for the women who have listened for years, uh, they have listened to speeches, uh, statements, declarations, but who have ended up to get organized on their own, on their territories, within their families, using what nature offers them, and they have been able to produce a territorial product who falls into our responsibility to give them value, to condition it from the chain to the total value chain, from the farm to the table, in uh, healthy conditions, in, uh, in the right uh, and uh, on the other continent, and this reflects in the right packaging, and this reflects our logo, the refela. The refela is the African map with the women's hands who go beyond Africa and who open up to the world, inviting the world. Africa is the future of the world. This support can only be done with the fundings. It's up to us, mayors and women mayors, to encourage uh, the land tenure that the Bodo mayor has talked about in order to welcome the microfinance institution because we know that if our cooperative are strong, they are not, uh, they cannot have access to the bank. So we have to make sure they have microfinance, which is the main pillar and the lever for uh, social and solidarity economy in the rural uh, communities, those which are remote, those that wait for the development. We don't want a development which is not for all. As mayors, mayors of Africa, who open up to the rest of the world, we are able to do, to make, to implement SAC for Africa to become a model. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for this uh, committing uh, this uh, speech. I think we are going to uh, move on to the second round table. Dear participants, thank you very much. Uh, you can uh, move back to the room now. And I will leave the floor to Jean-Pierre to welcome the next plenary. I am not uh, grateful 
this uh, network of the women uh, elected uh, without Jean-Pierre and Embassy, that network. And Madame de Dr. Razo, who is the director of ARGA, we have created an academy of territorial committees in Mali for the CGO. And the African women can make an, a horizon, a rainbow that can open up into a globe. Thank you very much. I would like to invite you to visit the exhibition stands and you will be happy and surprised and please buy in order to contribute to solidarity economy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like once again to thank the first panel for the quality of their communications. I really wanted us. What is that? I uh, wanted for this uh, following panel to have an interaction with the room, the audience, but those people who have questions, you can keep them. We will, you could ask them at the end of the second panel. We have an excellent panel because it is uh, well balanced. Uh, you can be seated. And you can see that uh, it's the women who uh, are uh, men are between the women. And this is a sign. And this sign shows the way. Maybe this is a premonition that things are going to move the other way around. This town table topic is a, a SAC and international cooperation. How the social and solidarity economy can contribute in uh, international cooperation and solidarity between the people. I would like to introduce uh, this uh, 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 to uh, in international cooperation uh, to understand what we intend to do. And you know that the reluctancies of the national governments to to see the territorial co collectivities. Uh, having access in sovereignty uh, spheres, uh, spheres of uh, sovereignty. Uh, this uh, can be easily understood uh, when we see how international cooperation was initiated and then we can understand that the national government are reluctant to allowing that. At the beginning, international cooperation was uh, designed are the means of organizing the relationship between different countries in order to encourage trade. Because the Duke trade was a win-win system. And if you want that uh, a trade to be a win-win, uh, so there should be some uh, uh, understanding between the different nations. And then when the cooperation became harsher and harsher for the control of the productions, for the control of the, uh, the place of production and for the control of the roads, the commercial tr uh, trade ro roads, the cooperation started setting up a certain number of rules uh, to which each uh, country had to comply with uh, for to develop their economy at the international level. That was the second virtue. And on that virtue, it's the, the states that agreed to set up those rules and regulations. And then they, they realized 
that within the, 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 the state, as was uh, between the states, the inequality started developing thing, social tensions, international tensions between the different governments. And then the focus moved from uh, uh, from solidarity within the different countries, solidarity between between uh, states and the international interstate relationship. And that solidarity led to the need of uh, trying to understand how uh, and around which interest it was possible to build a common vision. We call this common vision the general interest. The general uh, interest leads to conversation. We agree that we have conflict of interest and inequalities, and we're putting, we're using this conflict of interest to address this issue within states. We do it uh, sometimes in a brutal manner. Among states, sometimes it led to wars. But within states, people realize that uh, economy rooted in economies was maybe an answer to avoid a lot of uh, conflict among social groups. And SSE has found a foundation, and this foundation was also uh, exacerbated or favored by the fact that more and more modern economy did not provide adequate answers to employ young people, women, and SSE uh, was seen as one of the most adapted uh, answer or answer. And SSE was also deeply rooted, hence the following question. Can we bank on mayors and we bank on elected representative to rethink international relations. So I'm going to give the floor to, to, to the mayor of Montreal and I'm going to finish with women. Mayor, honorable mayor. How do you think the city of Montreal may contribute from the SSE perspective to rethink international relations? Over to you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm a deputy mayor. I'm not the mayor of Montreal. So I would like, first of all, to thank uh, conveners of this wonderful event and the city of Dakar for its uh, warm welcome. Montreal and Dakar have signed a cooperation uh, agreement, and in the years to come, we'll be able to beef up this collaboration. So Montreal, maybe you don't know, is a francophone uh, metropolis in America. We have a long tradition of uh, social economy and local development, which was uh, driven by a social movement meant to democratize economy. In 2009, we had a partnership between the city in order to buttress our cooperation. And since then, 1980, we put in place in Montreal a set of uh, ecosystem to support local development and social economy banking on an approach, a community-based approach. Social economy today in 2023 is present in all areas, in traditional, in the health sector, uh, housing, social services, and communication, culture, and technology, to name it but a few. What the city of Montreal has put in place, we have put in place uh, support and financing bodies that provide uh, advice, specialized advice. Each uh, 
structure, these uh, support and funding structures. We have uh, advisors that are specialized in social economy in order to support those that have collective project. The city is also via a network fund. role of financing for collective initiatives. So we're providing grants and loans at all stages of development from inception to growth. We also support a regional body for consultation, which is developing initiatives which serve the whole movement. Like, for example, uh, the mayor of Bordeaux talked about that how can we help uh, players of social economy? We are part and parcel of this project. The Economic and Social Council, we have a partnership relations with this Social and Economic Council. We also have a, a number of uh, programs to support various sectors. All programs uh, designed to support businesses in general, like uh, social economic businesses, uh, assisted. I'm very proud to be here this morning. It's an honor for me to be in Senegal, to be invited to represent my city. But I wish to say I'm proud because Montreal is a founding member of GSEF, and this is something important to us. And I want to underscore the presence of two people from Montreal that had made a significant contribution in Professor Majimengo and Mensinenka. They are present here, and Professor Majimengo has taught me. I was his student, and I'm very proud to see him. I also wish to recognize Beatrice, and with her, I have the pleasure to co-chair the vice chairmanship of G set for North America. I'm also proud to be here. We're coming uh, from the other part of the Atlantic, and we have uh, at GSEF, Quebec, the delegation of Quebec, and this is the most important delegation. Apart from uh, African delegation, we are about 100 people, and half of whom are young people, and this shows the interest we attach to SSE. I wish to greet the representative, diplomatic representative, and uh, we are on the ground and we are addressing challenges and citizens are in direct contact with us and we need support from government, from the government, and I wish to recognize them today. So, to, I would like to share a couple of elements. So social economy can help us we cities and local collectivities to address uh, the most important urban challenges like uh, environment and housing. But we need to be able to strengthen our collaboration and work further in partnership with uh, cities. Let me give an example to create housing, we need to have a reasonable uh, cost. So we need to think about uh, collective initiative uh, in the form of cooperation association in order to give housing at a acceptable price. And for me, the most important challenge of our epoch is that of uh, ecological transition. We all know that uh, we'll never manage an tran ecological transition if we do not uh, do the economic uh, transition of our economy. So SSE is showing us the way towards a fairer, greener, and more inclusive economy, an economy with respect to human and the nature. For me, these are two good reasons to beef up alliances uh, between cities and local collectivities, but also to join GSEF and engage further. I thank you, and you understand 
that I answered the question of panel one. That was the so if we have to tackle second question, I would do it. But I wish you uh, good day. Thank you. Monsieur, Monsieur Rabouin, thank you for your comments. Here we are. Deputies are also called mayors. So dep a deputy mayor for us is a mayor, indeed. And uh, you said that you did not answer the question. Allow me to to disagree with you. You did answer the question. Since you said that uh, not only you tell us, I mean, you did tell us how in Mario the city is uh, working in partnership with the SSE uh, environment, but you said something very important. And uh, from uh, the transition towards uh, more sustainable territories, fairer socially, and more productive economically speaking, because you said that you interact with all sectors. Therefore, you are inventing new ways of doing the economy and new way of conceiving international relations. I think you did answer the question. Maybe you have other perspective you would like to share. In the QAA slot, you may wish to answer. Basangine, you are the mayor of the city of Douala, 80% informal sector, uh, with a city of about uh, maybe more than 3 million inhabitants with a lot of international relations. This is the entry point and maybe one of the most important exit point from Kaurna. How do you see your relationship with uh, SSE in Douala? Or how do you think this relationship can fuel other type of international relations? Basangini, with a round of applause, please. Merci. Thank you. Merci, Jean Pierre. Thank you, Jean Pierre. As you said, the city of Douala has about 4.1 million inhabitants in a country which counts 20 million inhabitants. This is to say that this city is the main cities of Cameroon. This is the business capital, the power with the port, the main airport. And this is also a city which, uh, unfortunately, through its, uh, is attracting an internal immigration, which is very strong. And we estimate it at about 100,000 uh, inhabitants. And others are coming from other regions of Cameroon. And we have also other neighboring countries that uh, join in. In this city, we are facing a number of issues which actually bring us not only to try to find uh, local solutions but also to turn to the external solutions and try to see how to bring other countries to find solutions and the solution may be homegrown but more and more we need to adopt an approach, a global approach to problems. So one of the actions we try to initiate as part of associations, the association we belong to, this is what we call the diplomacy of cities. The diplomacy of cities is a diplomacy which tries to put local problems at the core of uh, international tensions. As uh, the mayor of Montreal was saying, it has to, it may has to do with climate change issues, and we're living it very strongly in a city like Douala, which is a, a city where it rains a lot, 
and uh, flooding is recurrent and we see that uh, rains are, and floods are very violent and we cannot uh, we should take action and find homegrown solutions but more and more we need to turn to the international level and try to address trying to address climate change and our advocacy with that on the production of forests the today we have the main basin and uh, with cities like paris and others we try to actually launch this advocacy we want the voice of cities to be heard and uh, we think it's necessary that forests be protected in particular central africa forests and this is one of the message as part of this diplomacy of cities jean pierre you also talked about exchanges so SSE promotes uh, products and we need to make sure that these products be known at the international level in such a way that countries from the south, as they are called, will participate in a more balanced trade and that, so that we'll be able to better sell local products and uh, be able to receive more equitable income. I think this seems to be one of the pillars of SSE. The third action I would like to mention, I cannot quote them all, is how do we mobilize financing? Because SSE, as you rightly pointed out, is uh, addressed to the informal sector, which accounts for 80% of an economy like uh, Douala. And these are people that do not necessarily have access to bank credit, they do not access uh, financing. How do we make sure that through the city, so we mobilize financing as our colleagues uh, have done, our colleagues from Cote d'Ivoire or Dakar, we may even think about putting in place some local funds, like municipal local funds, which will uh, help SSE or the network that have been set up. Because these are tools of urban policy which can be uh, valid interlocutors for uh, international bodies. I did not want to be long, but this is just to say that we have some avenues for solutions to see how we, dip the diplomacy of cities may help to promote through solidarity economy, more equitable relationship. I would like to close by thanking Senegal which made us proud by playing host to the first uh, uh, GSEF in African land. And this actually is encouraging to go to the same director. Thank you, dear organizers. And thank you to the mayor of Dakar for welcoming us. I would like to say that we do believe, we do believe in the development of SSE. Cameroon has already put in place a framework. We have a law, an existing law on social economy, which has been passed. We also have a law on competence transfer as part of decentralization. And this also make it possible to work. So legal instruments are here. Now it's up to actors to take these instruments and uh, take ownership of them, if that's all. Thank you. Thank you, the mayor, for this positive input. I would like to tell you that your idea on the diplomacy, diplomacy of cities is quite relevant. And I can see 
who I can see what Dakar has done by creating support funds for social and solidarity economy. You also said that uh, in terms of uh, climate change, you wish to draw attention on the need to take a look at the Congo Basin forest. I think that's what, what we have, we've been doing. And I would like to note that in next October, Brazzaville will host what we call the Three Basin Summit. The Three Basin Summit, that is the bas basin of uh, Amazon, the basin of Congo, and that of Mekong. These three basins account for 80% of global bi biodiversity, and they will they allow the respiration of the planet. Some, some discussions are underway on the compensation we bring to these populations that uh, actually protect these forests. You know that the tragedy in Amazonia, we do not want to see that in Mekong Basin and in Congo Basin. But other people are living on that. How uh, do we actually uh, reward them for their job, for protecting those forests? And economically speaking, they are not stable. So how do we share? So SSE is the economy of sharing. How do we share the economy? How do we share the fruit of what we produce? How do we share the work? So how do we deal with humanity in, in as a whole now? Let's turn to women because they give life, they protect life. And when they are mother, they are more important because mothers with, uh, so there is a combination to actually give us a life perspective because they alone know how to grow a child to make it an old man, an old person like myself. Madam, I'm going to start with you because you have a commune within the city of Dakar and the mayor of Bel Air. And you want to develop international relations. Why? Around SSE. Can you tell us why you want to develop international relations around SSE? Over to you. Let me tell his name. It's Madam uh, Khadija Maekor Juf, mayor of the commune of Gulf Sid, Dakar. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy and moved to be here with you. And I particularly would like to thank the mayor of uh, the city of Dakar, Bartoli Midias, for the organization of GSEF this forum of the SAC, which for me is a forum that speaks to uh, us as Africans and to us, uh, women Africans, and to us as mayors, uh, African mayors uh, working on the territories. My community is called Gulf Suite in the Dakar region. I am in the Gejua department. It's a, a peripheral department in the suburbs uh, where you have all the aspect of uh, social and solidarity economy, young women, uh, community movement, uh, uh, handicraft, and all the people who represent uh, the uh, symbols of uh, SAC. Uh, we have as mayors uh, the duty to be involved and define our economic policy around SSC because in reality, this is the legacy that we have and on that legacy, we would like to build our future. And as for the question that you have asked, yes, I believe in collaboration. I believe in decentralization. I do believe in what the communes uh, should uh, uh, exchange the Senegalese commune first, the communes in Africa, before opening up to the rest of the world, because each territory has something to offer. Senegal has its uh, sea, Senegal has got fish, Côte d'Ivoire has got cacao, 
Cote d'Ivoire has got coffee. If you go to Burundi, you will find tea. In Morocco, you have spices, a lot of products that we could exchange. But as local executives, our role is to build and set up partnership in order to make our local stakeholders the real actors for change, to have a real economy, an economy of solidarity that can empower our youth, our women, and our uh, uh, craftsmen and, and that population that are suffering in Africa, when there are opportunities, when the market is there, in the near future, Africa will be the market of the world. Africa will be the future of the world. And that future shouldn't be written without the Africans. And for that story to be written by the Africans, we have to organize our territories, uh, organize our stakeholders, our actors, our communities. And as local executive, we should be providing them help for them to develop value-added projects that can, they can, would be able to offer to the continent. Uh, and that cooperation is necessary, but we should not be thinking only locally, but developing industrial policy in, in each territory, making sure that the product that we exchange are of quality, making sure that our actors know the how to work at the, on the international stage. This is our role as mayors. But we also believe that building a SNC is building a world economy where each territory, each continent will define where they have a comparative advantage, where they have competitive advantage. And this is what they would offer to the rest of the world. We've got culture, we have ecology, we have got ecotourism that can be developed on our terrorism. We have ecologic hosting, we have artistic product, cultural product. We have so much to offer to the world and it is time for us to organize that uh, 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 those opportunities because we are the ones which are closer to those uh, population and it is up to us to take up our responsibilities to open up to that success which opens before our eyes. Uh, uh, the network is important, but I think the populations, our population should be the main actors because we'll have to leave tomorrow and they will stay. So an SEC is sustainable. We need to have entities that are sustainable, that allow a solidarity, Africa sharing values such as democracy and active <coughs> citizenship. <clears throat> what I was saying, what I was telling you, you see, what I was telling you, what I was telling you, the men, you are in between the women and they are taking control. <laughs> Uh, Madam the Mayor, I don't think this should be the place to congratulate you. As a pioneer, we don't congratulate you, we just invite you to lead the way. You have spoken very strong words, powerful words. And I wanted to repeat them, because these are words to keep in mind. And the one that has the, impressed me the most is that we're not here to stay forever. We are here to build what will be carried out once we are done. <laughs> Uh, very rare to see mayors who speak like that. Usually the mayors speak for the next term. This is a mayor who says, I'm not here to stay forever. And this is why I wish you stay. You said women and youth empowerment. Cooperation is okay. But I think you have to understand how to work on the international stage to understand 
the uh, how people work on, on the international stage, you mean you have to go back to school in order to understand how it works, because generally we decide on just our feelings and little less on knowledge and facts. This quest for knowledge and facts, this new generation is bringing it. And I'm optimistic when I hear that uh, speech. You also said that we need to understand what our territory can understand to the world, having the world as a, a prospect. And our government say we should have our territories as a, an objective. This reconciles me with the youth. And I know when I go back uh, to my ancestors, I will be convinced that the mayor, the button has been passed. You are in charge of the solidarity and uh, uh, solidarity economy. Dakar has hosted the first uh, SAC in Africa. Dakar has heard very powerful words of the mayor of Dakar and the president of the of Senegal in terms of capacity and trust. They put in SAC in Dakar and in Senegal. The question is now how SAC can be, be refounded on the international stage. You have committed to host this GCEF because you believe that international relationship uh, can be established. How? That's what I'm This is Mam Awilaga, the deputy mayor of Dakar in charge of SAC. Good morning to all. On behalf of the mayor, Bartolome Toigas, who is, uh, was not able to join us, I would like to wish you all welcome to this panel of the mayors. To, about uh, SAC and international cooperation. I would like to say that uh, uh, 20 years ago, I read a famous writing from uh, Eden Koyo, who said that solidarity was the new name for reason 20 years ago. That was today we're talking about solidarity economy. In other words, there is still action to be implemented in these concept. Solidarity should not be useless, it should be dynamic. It has to be at the heart of our concerns. This is also more right that when we, we got to the, uh, the commune of Dakar with the election of uh, Batele Mijaz as a mayor, he decided to set up a solidarity day, a day of solidarity to show that this is the word that should be our priority in on our decisions, on, in the actions that we should take daily on the territories throughout in the cities and in the world. This day of solidarity, which is very uh, dear to us, was brought as a solution to the problems uh, that our actors have to to, to face in SEC in within the city of Dakar. Dakar has thought to bring them help <coughs> and support their development. 
to leave their informal type of economy in order to get into the transition towards an economy that is sustainable, collective, and constructive by providing them with uh, some equipment for them to develop their companies, their, their businesses, for them to open up to other experiences, to other types of constructions of their business. It is also to say that this solidarity should happen at all levels. First of all, on the territories, that solidarity should appear between the different actors, the decision makers, the commune, through information points for the, for the citizens, for them to understand their rights and duties as citizens through a civic education of those actors for them to understand for those who did not uh, go to school who are illiterate to understand their role and their place in the society on their territories. <clears throat> uh, this leads me to say that SAC, as its name clearly uh, states, should not be an empty slogan. We should hear and now each of us share success stories on SAC from their territories for the others to learn from them. This forum should be a sharing and learning experience learning, solutions sharing of those uh, success stories. In addition, it should also help to sensitize, develop our awareness, our duties towards those actors who consider solutions that could solutions on which they can rely to understand their development. And we have a lot to do on that. One, during one of the panels yesterday, I said that some countries uh, uh, I said that in a country, in our country, informal economy is, is confronting a lot of problems because we, what we usually do is to invite them to formalize. They thought that being formalized is having the right documentation, the legal documentation to that, and they are left to themselves. They don't understand real, should be dynamic. at the level of the territories and at the level of the nation and the cities, uh, the countries, but also at the international level. On April 10, 18, uh, we have uh, for the United Nations to take this lesson and impose it to all the other countries. <coughs> this for SSC should be achieved locally. We have to, on our territories, we have to work to put the, the actors together, to put them on the right path through meetings, sharing meetings, and find plans to develop their uh, professional activity and each territory, all the other territories could connect 
we should connect and set up a network throughout the country and the world and act as a, a strong network dedicated so the actors would be identify based on their the type of activity they conduct and at the next uh, GCEF meeting we'll have uh, examples of great international cooperatives uh, that would for instance have the same product at different places with different ownership that would bring something tangible uh, in our communities for those actions to be profitable to those actors who are the one to who are supposed to be the actors of the informal and for whom we have chosen to work in order to transition towards uh, SSC for that slogan to be a reality. Thank you very much for your attention. I wanted to tell you that I was right, that we are supervised by women. Madam the Mayor, you rightly said <clears throat> that a new step has been uh, done in the SEC with the UN resolution adopted on April 18th. And you rightly said also that it is time we uh, may, uh, we got support from the resolution in order to give life to uh, uh, social and solidarity economy carried out by the different territories. And secondly, you said that the Dakar mayor has uh, put solidarity in the heart of its action and has defined, uh, decided to have a, a day of solidarity. Uh, As we usually, our Canadian friends said, work the top to say what you do and do what you say. You have indicated, you have shown the way, providing support to the actors of this solidarity, social and solidarity uh, economy through conversation with them. But you also gave some other examples saying that we needed to support the SSC actors on the territories. And you also added that we need to create a network of the SSC territories. It's like it's the GSS extended and which dares to present itself as such. Okay. So SSE has been designed as the economy for the corruption of uh, problems from this is the economy of the foundation of normal economy. And this new normal economy is an economy which is uh, rooted in the society and which addresses issues uh, of uh, a world to have a fairer, more inclusive, more sustainable world, a more human world. And I would say that you were, you went further, if I did get you right. You even propose, you did not formulate it like that, but let me put it this way. You have proposed that uh, this international 
in the network of uh, territories of uh, solidarity economy has a proposal, a proposal that had been made here to create an international network of local products. The previous uh, uh, round table have made this proposal that is to connect the two. And I even go further saying, why not uh, create a GSF uh, label in the same way as we created uh, equitable trade label and then GSF territories will recognize themselves. They will label SSE businesses that will have a specific privilege among territories of SSE. And they will create a globalized economy on the SSE model. And this is an ambition we may pursue so the room certainly has something to say in what we've just heard, what we just said. I would like to keep the round table here and maybe we give the opportunity to the room to ask maybe, let's just give them 15 minutes to address questions, if any. On my part, I have uh, two uh, people asking for the floor. Mr. Omar, where are you? Do you have a roving mic? It's not because you're asking for the floor that you, we automatically yeah, give it to you. And there is an order of passage. We have Omar first. Please introduce yourself and ask your questions. No conference. Please. Thank you. My name is Umar Mo. I'm from the Republic of Guinea. I'm journalist and member of CIPA Guinea. Thank you. My question is on uh, city councils. In the Republic of Guinea, mayors are elected representatives. They represent their fellow citizens. But these mayors, they managing resources, local resources, and sometimes they are replaced by special delegations. What is the solution to change this? Because they are elected and it is they have to collect the collectivity with responsibility. Thank you. I also have Mr. Dunia Uyabi. Where is he? Dunia? Where are you? Over there. Good morning, Dunia Buana from Mauritania. My question is on the financing mechanism for cooperatives. Thank you. The microphone over here. Thank you for giving me the floor. My name is Madame Noa Marie Angel. I'm from Cameroon. My question is twofold. We women understand that you have accepted that the concept of uh, territorial development cannot be a reality without significant participation of women in decision making and on the economic empowerment of women. In this regard, for me, this economic uh, empowerment of women is 
sans être capacité pour la so norme par pays. Et maintenant, si les femmes ne sont pas capacitées, j'ai bien peur que l'économie se... I'm afraid that uh, this economy will, will be precarious. And I would like to request your permission, um, this is directed to the mayor of Montreal. I want some networking with the city of Montreal. We women want that networking. We thank you. Thank you. Now the floor is over to, so this side, yes, randomly. Over to you, madam. Oh, so those who want to take the floor on this side, let me. I'm gonna take three, Madam, and just behind, and you, and that's over. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the floor. I'm greeting everyone. I'm from Senegal. I'm the chair of the Senegalese Network and on Social and Solidarity Net Economy member of RIES, which is member of REPES, Intercontinental Network for the Promotion of SSE. First of all, I'm pleased with the opening of our co local collectivities. And the mayor, Khadija, too, uh, has said it. Level. I see that a lot of levers have been uh, mentioned on the financing of uh, various activities. I would like to... So, so please just ask your question. My question is to find out how all actors can access health care. Monsieur et puis Madame derrière. Là. Monsieur en casquette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Nicolas is my name, activist of uh, um, base in Benin. According to you, dear mayors, what is the role citizen participation plays like participatory democracy and public consultation in promoting SSE? Thank you. Very good. My name is Mrs. Konate Aminata. I'm from France. My question is directed to Madame the Mayor of Gedewai. I did appreciate your advocacy. The South South mentoring is quite interesting. So concretely, how do you put that in place? The second question, how do you implement South South mentoring? I did not get you, Madame. The mayor of Gedewai did talk about South South mentoring, saying that in the various regions, skills that we can bring together. How do we implement that? Implement that. That's what I call South South mentoring. The second question is directed to the um, expertise in SSE. How do you share that at the international level so that we French can benefit from it? Because SSE in France is its infancy phase. Thank you. I'm going to take three on this side as well. So please get straight to the point. Place uh, some uh, support. My name is Khadija Tu. You said that you have put in place some structures that are led by social and solidarity economy advisors. Are they municipal advisors or do they bank financing? Thank you.
Thank you. The last one, please. Where was the last? Uh... Good morning, everyone. My name is Omar Mane. I'm a student. Given the diversity of SSE act actors and divergences, I have a question. Which solution are you proffering to pull up actors around this issue of SSE? Thank you. Now on the, my right hand side, one, two, three, finish. Madam, madam and madam, ladies. My name is Fatumata Jarajalo from the Republic of Guinea. My question is to know what is the place of the civil society in the construction of SSE, given the fact that in Guinea, authorities are the SSE. All right. Yes. Next. Madam. Talk about solidarity. SSE practitioners are cooperative, like women in the rural areas. But even in our country, on the ground, and they can support project developers and support them in the structuring of the project, but also in the financing. And this brings me to the next question of financing. The city has put in place some financial tools by providing some grants, some loans, in a bid to help a project so that they get in more traditional uh, institutions that are not uh, that do not have opening but in quebec we also developed a set of uh, alternative financing ecosystem these institutions are brought into four networks we have various players that are can uh, that consider all the value of SSE then. And this is key because uh, traditional instruments do not understand social economy and they don't finance it. Therefore, we need to think about alternative financing. And when projects are <laughs> solid, banks are interested. But we need to do the, I think, Someone talk about the expertise. Since I'm here, I realize that we have a lot of expertise in Africa, and this has a history of collective entrepreneurship, which is the experience is extensive. Maybe it was not in the SSE slot, but we have extensive experience, and I'm very happy to learn. Uh, so GSEF is actually giving us the opportunity to create a network so that we can learn each other, share our tools and build what we want to do. So we want to transform the world and build a united uh, economy. Thank you. There was a question of that on the diaspora. How can you use the diaspora expertise? Uh, somebody asked the question to see there is uh, much expertise uh, on the, in the diaspora. How can the Montreal city use that expertise? Uh, uh, her question was how to internationalize uh, Montreal expertise. Uh, the Montreal's experience is interesting. The Quebec experience is, is, is interesting. Uh, and around the G7, I think this is a good network. Uh, G7 is an excellent network to share that experience. Thank you very much. There was a question which was uh, for you, uh, for Gedeway. Uh, I did not hear the question right. Will you please repeat your question, madam? The question addressed to the Gedeway mayor. Uh, uh, the question was addressed to, to me, to golf. I have noted two questions which were addressed patient 
As for the implementation, I think the first thing to do is to define the territory uh, where we operate, to understand it. If I take the commune of uh, Gulf Sud, which is an urban commune, a commune cannot have uh, agricultural production. We cannot. An urban commune uh, should be in the services. A commune that is in Casamance, in Fundun, or other regions in the country, inland, can define what are the products on which they can have added value and position on that uh, uh, level of the uh, value chain. A commune like mine should focus on the activities where they can more work more on value added services would be the right one. And then we should organize our population to specialize uh, in uh, that vision and position something where on the spheres where they have something to share with other communities and implement all the background training, uh, uh, help the organization and help them survive, help them find markets between themselves and later on open to Africa and the rest of the world. As for the issue of how to federate the actors, yes, with the coaching on our territory, we are using uh, territorial coaching that can help federate all the, the actors, put them around the table to discuss uh, and anticipate on the problems that might appear. And from there, we federate the energies, we anticipate and we manage to solve the problem before they appear. I have also noted another question related to the financing. I think the role of the civil society is, is important. Each uh, part of the value chain is important. The civil society is important, the collectivities, uh, the state, each has their role to play. So I think we should all work together for the SAC to become a reality. Basangene, have you got any uh, concluding remarks? Concluding remarks? Uh, thank you. There have been an, an, a question on how to strengthen uh, women's, uh, how to empower women in the SAC uh, businesses. And for us, I think we have a, a diversity of experiences. I was not able to talk about them all, but I think we have to act on two areas. SEC is made up of entities. There are a lot of networks, a lot of cooperatives uh, which are created. It's important to help them uh, and in the Douala region in Cameroon. There are networks based on uh, on the small and department. We are going to work with them to facilitate their access to a certain number of uh, financing, finances, because the city cannot do it all. We have to target a certain number of, uh, uh, of like uh, confection, uh, designers, uh, agro, 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 agro industry, uh, juices, cosmetics. These uh, type of uh, niche are the one that we can support as a commune because they are the one that can help us create jobs, youth employment and women's employment and that can help us to have a direct impact on the income of uh, our citizens, to have a local market, which is, uh, uh, I think, uh, there is support that we can provide in making sure those who produce local products from the territory can adapt to the standards. A known, uh, uh, standards. We have a certain number of norms, uh, uh, standards in Cameroon uh, that people should comply with, and that can help them export uh, their products. So we should help them 
be compliant with those standards. So these are different ways of providing support to those uh, 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 companies, uh, support, uh, class cutting report, but also support to the different sectors. Madam, you can conclude. Thank you to all. Just wanted to complete uh, in my, on my, my intervention on education of the different actors. To the creation of a citizen observe watch uh, uh, for the development of social and solidarity economy. That is a, a, a watchdog that is an innovation in the Dakar uh, for the involvement of the citizens uh, in the uh, social and solidarity economy. Another innovation is the existence of the service to the uh, citizens dialogue. All these services were created for the actors, the SSC actors, to meet their needs and in order to help them transition towards a formal, sustainable uh, economy. Now I'm going to give the over to Mambasi to conclude. Thank you very much, dear participant, to this panel, dear mayors and Madame de Mayor, thank you for your contributions. On behalf of uh, the Mayor Patrick Vigas, I would like to thank you all. I think there have been a lot of, uh, a lot of people wanted to say, a lot of frustration. My friend from Tunisia wanted to speak. Many people wanted to, but for time constraints, we are not able to give you all the opportunity to express your thoughts. But I wanted to say is that both round tables were very enriching uh, in terms of experience sharing, and uh, they have laid the foundation for this new economy and uh, fed by solidarity, uh, fed by the needs to transition towards more sustainable solutions and fed by the need uh, for more humanity, which is at the baseline for a world which is more fair. I think GSEF has this ambition and we think that more African cities and other cities in the world become members of GSEF and for the GSEF move to be a majority move to reform, to found a human economy, an economy that would be in harmony with nature and uh, an economy for future generations. Thank you very much.